There's a lot of people out there that make YouTube videos that dream of one day hitting 100,000 subscribers. And I was one of those people. Not only is this a massive milestone, but it comes with a sick silver YouTube plaque with your name on it. Hitting 100,000 subscribers was a dream that I had starting all the way back in 2009. She's got love like <laughs> Which is really not all that long ago, guys. Come on. I I'm not old either. <laughs> and finally, after 15 years of making YouTube videos across several different channels, I finally hit that magic number of 100,000 subscribers and I got my hands on my very own YouTube play button. <laughs> Is this even real life? The fact that I'm even holding this in my hand right now, I, I don't know what to say. Oh yes, my baby, you're finally with your mama. Oh. Ah, this feels so right. This is actually insane. Do you know how long I've been trying to get my hands on one of these things? Well, I mean like 15 years, I kind of said that. So, okay, I think it's time I just shut up and open the box because I'm kind of rambling at this point because I'm just a little nervous for some reason. All right, someone get me my knife. Okay, I'll do it. Bam! That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, the tape is officially cut and I'm freaking out right now. I'm sweating bullets. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is it. So they send you an official letter from YouTube, the YouTube CEO. Do you remember your first subscriber, your 100th or your 1,000th subscriber? Chances are you do, and we know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000th subscriber. Oh my God, I'm looking at the plaque. I feel like I'm gonna cry. This is this is fucking crazy. This is it. This is this is my plaque. <sighs> oh my God, it's so clean. It's beautiful. Guys, do you see this? This is my YouTube plaque. It only took me 15 years to get it too. This is, this moment right here holding this plaque doesn't feel real because this is gonna sound kind of weird. There were so many times where I was manifesting and literally envisioning myself in this moment holding this plaque for the very first time and now it's actually happening. This is, this is really weird guys. And then this is the back. Okay, cool. I need to mount this on my wall. Does anyone have any nails I could borrow? Or where in this room would be the best spot for my sexy little plaque? Probably over here somewhere? Maybe like here-ish? Guys, does this look like a good spot or what? I mean, obviously I've got to make it visible in the back of my videos because I gotta, I gotta let the hose know. <laughs> Okay, but until I get my hands on some nails and a hammer, I'm just gonna set this bad boy right here. Can you see it? Hello there. Now that I finally have this plaque, it's just making me think about my entire YouTube history up to this point. I made my very first YouTube channel all the way back in 2007. And at that time, I didn't even know what 100,000 subscribers like even was. I was literally just making videos for fun of me doing magic tricks and uh, levitating. How the frick did I do that? It's not that complicated. It's just an illusion. I actually just had a stick going up my ass. Then in 2009, I made another YouTube channel, Official Banff. Now this is where things got a little interesting, mainly because this was during my prime emo phase. I mean, just look at that hair. That is some sick ass hair. Should I bring that back? And it was at this time with this YouTube channel that the thought of hitting 100,000 subscribers came to mind for the very first time. And from that point moving forward, that was the goal. And with that YouTube channel, I made it all the way up to 71,000 subscribers. I got so close but I never hit 100K. Then in 2017, I made this channel. And as you can see, I'm just a few subscribers away from 100,000. <laughs> no big deal. I, it's nothing. But everything changed in 2020 when I made the Fearsome Top 5 YouTube channel. This was the first time that I made a YouTube channel with just one niche in mind. I was just gonna be making one type of videos about one very specific topic. And that topic was like ghosts and the paranormal because I'm actually into that stuff. So I figured why not make an entire channel about it? And then hopefully other people that are interested in that will, you know, gravitate towards the channel and ultimately lead me to my victory of 100,000 subscribers. And uh, that was my evil plan. And it worked. So anyway, now I'm gonna delete that channel because I got my plaque. I'm totally kidding. I love Fearsome Top 5. I love making those videos. And what's actually crazy, besides hitting 100,000 subscribers on that channel, it's also my full-time job at this point, which is like even crazier to say, like that was always another dream of mine to be able to make YouTube videos full-time. I mean, that just sounds insane that people are actually able to do that. But like at this point, 
I'm one of those people. For anyone watching this that makes YouTube videos that also wants to hit 100,000 subscribers, let me just give you a few tips that I've learned over the years. Tip number one, find your niche. Like I said, with the Fearsome Top 5 channel, I think it really saw success because I focused on one very specific niche. And when you are super focused on one specific niche and targeting that audience, I mean, it's inevitable that they're gonna find your videos and come to you. Meanwhile, you have this channel where I kinda make videos about anything and everything. And, um, <laughs> As you can see, the subs are rolling in. Tip number two is to make videos that you would actually want to watch. Basically what I mean is, if you make a YouTube video and you upload it and you expect other people to watch it, you should probably take a moment and ask yourself, would I actually watch this video? Like when it comes to the topic of the video and the editing, the, the quality of the overall video, if the video is kind of ass, why would you expect anyone else to watch it? And tip number three, which is probably the most important tip of them all, is consistency. When it comes to the YouTube game, you have to be consistent. I mean, some people have been consistent for, I don't know, 15 years. I don't know who. Um, <laughs> now I'm not saying it's gonna take you 15 years. I think that's just specific to me. But if you only post 10 videos on YouTube and don't immediately find success, you can't just quit. Honestly, it takes a little while to get good at this, to get better at making videos and feeling more comfortable on camera. I mean, just look at me. At this point, I am so comfortable on camera that I can do stuff like this. <laughs> you see what I mean? So I'm, I'm pretty comfortable, so. Maybe one day you'll be the same. Now, I don't really expect any of you that are watching this channel to be subscribed to my other channel that hit 100K, but for any of you that are, thank you so much. I mean, honestly, without you guys or the people that subscribed, I would not have my sexy little plaque. Just look at her over there. Well, now that I finally hit this massive milestone, I guess next I'll be going for gold. The gold YouTube play button that is, that you get when you hit 1 million subscribers. And according to my calculations, I am only 899,000 subscribers away from hitting 1 million. Damn it!